All right, stage two. So first goal, uh, finish a lap under minute 15. It's going to be at the Dubai International. Uh, still carrying on the same PR from last stage, 68.2. The least of my favorite Dubai uh, sort of Perhaps the international circuit isn't so bad with this car. All right, so worth eighty-seven thousand fifty motorsport dollars for a lap around Dubai International. Apparently, for first place finish. And this one, we're racing against Hellcat, Aventador, SVJ. Audi TT RS Coupe, uh, Mercedes GT4, kind of an interesting mix of cars. How right to instant free service, thank you very much. Alright, so that is another goal down. Just say minute 15, I think that had to be a world record lap time. Um, <laughs> I knew it was going to be a good day. Anyway, uh, continuing on with uh, goal two. You know what? I'll just run right through here the entire stage two in a single video. So strap in. Here we go. Since that went by so quickly. And I don't have to wait for service, so might as well, right? Uh... All right, lapping the entire um, grid, right. Got three laps to do it. The other guys are super slow, so it shouldn't be a problem at all. And this one is not a rolling start. I think this might be the only goal that does not have a rolling start. Go.
that one the far end on the other side right um, tricky corner still trying to figure out the breaking point on that one do you think Aventador SVJ would be able to you know be quicker on this in this grid our 720s coupe these are not slow cars by any means is gt3 are really that much faster hmm. i don't know anyway that is good enough for goal two so let's continue on Suddenly, I saw him, a driver unlike all the others, Magnus Rylander. Pushed my car close to overheating, closed the gap, and he too was overtaken. So overtake Magnus, don't let the car overheat. So this goal, I believe, ends as soon as you overtake, sort of like the earlier goal that we had. And unlike the last goal we did, where we... Uh, lap all the opponents didn't actually complete the goal we actually had to complete three laps so uh, some variety there right here let's do this overtake Magnus without overheating Payout though. 
which is ideal. Alright, that is for winning essentially two laps at the Dubai International. Pretty cool. Just a couple of service bars taken out for that. Although right now that's kind of irrelevant issue. Anyway, time to wrap up stage two. So that one went by pretty quick. This one we have to win by two kilometers, 2,000 meters, right? Or 2,187 yards if you're using Imperial unit. Right, and the PR requirement bump. Now it's up to 71.1. So three laps. Here we go. Starting in the lead this time. I am impressed myself, I know. 26,300 motorsport dollars for that victory. As we are getting pretty near the daily limit just for running through this event. And 
three laps didn't actually put the car in red. That's also very impressive. Anyway, that is that. The end of another stage, stage two. And we get 20,000 motorsport dollars for stage two. And then we should be picking up another five gold. There we go. And that, my friend, is the story of how I humiliated Magnus. He must be here to sabotage my stunning debut. Or maybe he's just here because he's a professional driver. And this is a race. Uh, he will not have his revenge this day, my friend. Prepare yourself and meet me on the track. We must prepare for the second historic clash of Ahmed and Magnus. Oh my. So goes the story. Uh, stage 3, peak, peak performance. I've been training for this day for over a year. I think an extra hour or two will do me good. Don't need explain I don't need to explain to you that Magnus is formidable opponent sometimes. Both need to be on top form for this afternoon's race. Now the question is, are we still at Dubai? Uh, nope, we're back to Mount Panorama present day. So flashback is over. Oh, I wanna say stage four we go back. But anyway. Stage 3 uh, will continue in the next video. So stay tuned and we'll see you in the next video.